We're beginning with agriculture news, specifically teaching kids where food comes from and teaching kids how to grow food, lessons to make sure the food they're eating is safe and nutritious. Here in Richland County, one school is doing just that. News 19 Zoe Henry explains. For most gardens, the foundation is dirt. This new hydroponic system at Hopkins Middle School is less messy because there's no soil, just water. Which has a reservoir of water that we add nutrients to and a pump uh, cycles that through. Uh, so it's a soil free growing system. That's Larry Cook with USC. He heads the Office of Sustainability where the university has two types of hydroponic gardens. According to Shanda Cooper with Richland County Soil and Water, the new project at Hopkins gives students access they otherwise wouldn't have. But we recognize that not all schools have a great place to install a garden outdoors and not all students would be able to have an outdoor garden at their own home or in their community. Michael Posey is a local home hydroponic gardener. He says this process is also easier to manage when starting a garden. As you're indoors, there's no birds eating the seeds that you plant out in the dirt. There's no bugs. Uh, you can control the temperature much better. The students at Hopkins Middle School will grow their own food and plants and later decide what to do with the crops. In Columbia, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. And if you've got the good old fashioned outdoor garden, chances are you may have seen a little bit of rain either over the weekend or today, correct?